It's 107.7 The Bone, Baby Huey and Bimbo Jimbo here, live from New Orleans, yes, Radio yes. Row, for <laughs> WrestleMania 34, this Sunday on the WWE Network. And look at this, Jimbo. We've got a couple big stars in front of us. That's right. From the Balor Club, we have Gallows and Anderson. i got to warn you two gentlemen, we are a couple of nerds, so you should know that going in. <laughs> we love it's, it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's okay. We were, we were explaining earlier that the, 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 the stereotypical nerds aren't who we think are nerds. Right. Okay. The so nerds, how do you people, define it? People that don't like us. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's okay. the only definition. Basically, yeah. yes. <laughs> do you like us? Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Do you like us? No. You're a nerd. You're a nerd. <laughs> Can you talk about, I mean, the whole nerds thing for me, because as somebody that is self-described nerd, yeah. uh, I mean, getting that over to the, was that something that you thought would take off the way it did? Uh, we just were kind of talking about it. I said I wanted to say it, and then he started feeding it to me, and then it kind of became a thing. So it kind of. Yeah, we need Took to say it nothing more. Nothing and turn it into something. Yeah, yeah, because nerds. Get, yeah, I think pe- <laughs> people in the arena scream it whenever we start to say it. So yeah, we need to say it more and more and more. We just need to steal more mic time. That's it's exactly definitely right. taken off. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So looking ahead to uh, WrestleMania this weekend, just as far as the tag team division go for Raw sure. specifically, got the Bar versus Braun and yes. mystery opponent. For you guys, I mean, is there anyone in particular out of those two you want to see win that you guys want to take on after that? I want to see who Braun's mystery opponent is. I got a lot of ideas. I think the Honky Tonk Man would yes. be a good choice. Ellsworth. Okay. Ricky Morton. Right all full Robert circle. Gibson. Robert Gibson. <laughs> Ellsworth. <laughs> Sweet um, Stan Lane. Sasha Banks. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> of the most far fest. <laughs> um, no, you know, us. I, yeah. <laughs> most importantly, us. Yeah. No, I. I well, you know, I, it's going to be the WrestleMania in all is going to be fun. So I mean, I think that's gonna, that's a fun match. Braun versus the Bar. Or Braun mystery opponent versus the Bar. Yeah. Whoever wins, cool. We, you know, we, we just want to be tag team champions again. And Absolutely. I think after WrestleMania, we'll get a good reset and get it going. What's it like for you guys? Being here at WrestleMania, you're all in WWE alongside guys that you know so well, like Finn, obviously, with the Balor Club and sure. AJ Styles, and just all the success that you guys are having now all together in WWE. Uh, it's exciting, man. Um, I think it's an exciting time for the fans, but it's an exciting time for us as performers as well. Um, it's a good time to be in the business. It's a good time to be a fan of it. And like he said, we want to get our reset here after WrestleMania so that we can uh, fly high once again. I was going to say, Carl, for you, How's been this run for you, your uh, time in WWE? And also, yeah. even just, uh, Luke, for you as well, uh, your second run with sure. WWE. So for both you guys, just how's this been experienced so far? Uh, it's, it's great. It's all we are, you know, when we got to where we got in Japan, we uh, we reached a level where we realized that we wanted to uh, challenge ourselves and we wanted to be in WWE. It, it was basically we, everything we were doing was to be here. Just because I mean, this is no matter what anybody says, this is the place to be, of course. Yeah. And uh, WrestleMania is the, the the show to be on and to be involved in. So uh, I mean, it's been great. Everything that's you know we've experienced has been awesome. I mean, look, we're in New Orleans right now talking about WrestleMania, and we I had a WrestleMania de- debut last year in Orlando, and that was one of the coolest moments I'll ever have. And you know, we just want to keep making more memories. It's something that, you know, so part of my background is I work for the Golden State Warriors in addition to doing radio. I've been fortunate enough to be in the finals for the last few seasons. It's something about, you know, when you get to the finals, there's this sort of aura around it. Like everything's yeah, just sure. a little bit different, a little bit bigger. I want to, like, what's that like for you guys, like, when it comes to WrestleMania? What does that do for you guys as, as athletes? It's the pinnacle of our year, you know. Um, everything builds to this week. Everything builds to Sunday, and then everything will reset again. So, I mean, you look around the entire WWE, the entire WWE universe, and the whole rest of the business are in New Orleans just for this this weekend coming up. So, I mean, this is the focal point of our industry completely. So to not be excited about that, you should be doing something else, man. I mean, everybody who's anybody is here from the top to the bottom. So it's, it's very cool. Awesome. And so, Luke, you keep mentioning a reset after Mania. And so there is a rumor that there might be potentially superstar shakeup or even a draft. You guys have done a lot on Raw. Would you guys be open with the idea if you guys are taking over to SmackDown Live? We'll go anywhere. Yeah. The checks keep clearing. <laughs> and if they send us to SmackDown, we'll keep going. Absolutely. <laughs> who who so. does a better too sweet, AJ or Finn? <laughs> well, I have to say, since Finn is one of the is the original, uh, the original, well, you know, the original, original, <laughs> original yes. emulator, the second original. The yes, s- we were the first copycats to copycat. <laughs> right. Uh, he he does it good. I have to give it to AJ though. He came in as AJ Styles, and uh, with the, we were doing the Bullet Club stuff, and and he came in and the guy went right with it. So you know, he owned it and loved it, and 
Yeah, uh, they're both great brothers. Yeah. Luke, I got to ask you because I, did I hear that you do a a, a Howard Finkel impression? Oh. Once in a while, I will talk like Howard Finkel. <laughs> Dude, can I get a little <laughs> bit more? That is amazing. <laughs> Howard, what have you been up to you? lately? I'm here at WWE Ben Access. I think you're an idiot. I think you're. A I can't say what I'm going to say. What would the Fink say for Bimbo Jimbo coming down to the ring? Coming down the aisle. Bimbo Jimbo. <laughs> I love it. Well, I want for Baby Huey now. <laughs> oh, Baby <yeah>. Huey. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. How long do you have to work on that? I've been doing this since I was a kid. <laughs> Dude, have you I'm, done it for him yet in front of him? Oh, yes. Okay, oh, what's yeah. his thoughts on it? Yeah, mediocre reaction every time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's, He's I think not it's jumping out of his fun. skin about it, but Howard and I go back. He okay. likes me, so I think it's okay. He doesn't seem to hate it. He doesn't I mean, hate it. He doesn't love it. Yeah. Between you know. the nerd stuff and, like, the Southpaw Regional Wrestling, like, you guys, like, have really, I mean, how do you feel about doing the sort of the comedy aspect, the entertainment aspect of this gig? Like, is that something that you naturally felt comfortable in, or did you kind of have to sort of work uh, into we, it? Actually, I think we were too comfortable doing it because it kind of, like, changed the path of our early yeah. WWE characters, if you will, because we needed to be more serious, and they kind of started throwing comedy at us because they thought that we could do it. And I don't know if it helped or it hurt, but it's definitely close to our natural personalities. Um, we're constantly entertaining each other away from the ring and, and a lot of the rest of the boys as well. So uh, it's just kind of our personalities, man, good yeah. for good or bad. That now, you awesome. sort of like like the old day stuff and then sort of, but then you guys need to get sort of that bruiser stuff back yeah, into it. Exactly. Like maybe a better balance exactly. as opposed to like just being too much of one I, or the I, other. I got to say, like the old day stuff, like, oh, it just gave me like the chills it's thinking It's cringeworthy like, stuff. Got to remember, we didn't write that, you know. We, yeah. just, we, 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 <laughs> right. we, we moonsault over moonsault. We, we moonwalked to the ring and we, and we did what we were told and it kind of went. Well, and how much input do you guys get on on stuff like that? Uh, I mean, yeah. there, there's times where you have more more, yeah, more rope, and then other sure, times yeah. like salute yeah. and give go. And, give and take, you know. I think that was kind of early in uh, early in our opportunities to 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 be on a microphone in the middle of the ring and just kind of did what we were told and. No, gotcha. Helped. You saw it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Gotcha. I, I'm going to steal a question from Baby Huey that he asked earlier, and that's uh, what is it like as far as the difference between wrestling in Japan and wrestling here in the States and with the WWE in particular? Well, the schedule for us is a lot better because we're actually home more with our families. So, okay. Yeah. Um, sometimes in Japan, when, like, when the Bullet Club got hot, we'd be gone for months at a time, wow. and that's hard when you have young kids at home and stuff. So now, unless we're leaving the country, I mean, we're, on the, we're home three days every single week so we can – do real stuff and take our kids to school and go to ball games and you know normal stuff so it's good that's yeah. awesome <clears throat> well guys listen we appreciate you making the time today look forward to seeing you guys this sunday wrestlemania 34 on the wwe network and just good luck with everything else we've been big fans for many years and yeah so yeah, yeah looking forward to seeing what you have next up your sleeve thank Thanks, you brothers. brothers thank you guys